good at morning guys welcome to today's video have a little bit of a cold sore even Sophie has a cold sore do you still have a cold sore yeah well, yeah Sophie gave me her cold sore I don't know how but we both have a cold sore so shout out to the cold sore we are headed someplace fun we're going to a tax sale a tax sale it's been a long time since we've been able to go to one of those because of COVID and because there haven't been too many of them but it's the first one of the season and we're getting to go look outside you guys grass is turning green the grass is all turning green still lots of brown but lots of green and that is so important i feel like i'm one of those people that gets depressed when winter is too long and winter is so long in canada but i wanted to show you guys what we're eating on our way to the tax sale it's a bit of a drive is it a bit of a drive compliments of our costco trip we're eating a gouda cheese on multi-grain crackers. Sylvia and I tried these at Costco the other day and then we went and we found the cheese and the crackers, they were so good. So this is the cheese that I bought, it's called Hallandia and it's mild Gouda and it's so yummy. And I bought these ones that came in these little packages. You could just buy like a chunk of Gouda cheese, but I bought these because I thought they'd be really good for taking to the barn or for taking in the car and traveling with them. And then I put a piece of the cheese on the cracker. I love these crackers. And this is how we eat them. I love cheese and crackers for a snack because cheese is so sustainable. Like it gives you such good energy for such a long period of time. Whereas like a more sugary snack, you run out of energy faster. So we have a lot to do today. A lot of fun things to do today. So we need a sustainable energy. What is your favorite snack that helps keep you going on a busy day? Comment below. We're almost to the tax sale and a tax sale is basically just like a yard sale. It's tax. just basically like a yard sale. An equestrian yard sale. Yeah, but with tax, an equestrian yard sale. So whenever we go to a yard sale, I always like to think about like, what are the kind of things that we need? What I'm looking for specifically at this yard sale, this tax sale, is a show pad. Chino needs a show pad and whenever we go to the store to buy one, He's such a long back horse. He has a big saddle and none of the show pads that we ever find are big enough. They never like fit nicely under his saddle. So I'm looking for a big show pad. What are you looking for? A halter. A halter. What color? Uh, dark green. Dark green. And um, black jump boots. Mm. We're also looking for jump boots, black or even brown. Do you like brown? No, I want black. I love brown jump boots that have like the fur in them. I think those are the cutest, coolest jump boots. But Sophie's looking for jump boots because you guys know she's trying a horse. We so far love the horse, absolutely love him so much. Like her and him, uh, their energies connect like this. Like, I don't know, I, this feels like he could be the one you guys. So she's looking for black jump boots so that she has jump boots for him. Gabby, are you looking for anything at this tag sale? No. What? And I don't have to wear red on him because yeah. that is painful. Yeah, so Gabby That's has black thing. ones. Gabby has black jump boots and she has red jump boots. And Sophie doesn't want red ones because that's not her color. So anyway, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we didn't video in there because it was so small. Well, it's been on this mini. And it's awkward. It's awkward to video someplace when there's not a lot of people because then everything you do is conspicuous. Mom, but we're going to show you what we got. $75. Yeah. Push us. Yeah, yeah I'll push you. Us. Okay. So we're going to show you what we did get. We really wanted open front jump boots. We didn't get them, but we got this. It's an anti-slip pad. And it's so soft. Like, it's to help, like, when your horse is just gaining weight and the saddle slips back. I don't know if Brendan's going to get mad that we bought this because I don't know if we need it, but I know in the past I've wanted one before and we could have used one before, but also we bought these, which are egg butt snaffles. One's a five and one's a five and a quarter. Um, always need snaffles. Oddly, the girls are dressed alike again. Yeah, and she, they, she put on a blue sweater. I because think she saw that it has I a pocket. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna pop but sometimes like, you end up dressed the same even when you don't plan it. I don't know, it's synchronicity, that's what it's called. Anyway, we found ourselves at a park and we can't stop until we try the miracle round. Oh my gosh, even I want to sit in it. I think you put your sit- Do not sit back. Do not sit back. That's what somebody wrote on. No, it says do not sit here. 
Whatever. Whatever. Wait, All right. How do I spin this? So you can sit. Wait, wait, wait. If you're going to spin it, I want to get on. Oh, woo. Stop it, Mom. What the hell? <laughs> we need somebody to push us. Oh, you learn how then you jump on it's that. comfy. Oh, I get seasick really easily now. I'm Whoa. Oh, wait, what? This is not going to go well. This is not going to go well. I'm going to jump off. No, I'm oh. setting up. You're the one that's. Oh, that's it. cool. Wait, wait, oh, I do not do spinning well anymore. But look, you could even stand. Oh, you stand there. I thought maybe you sat there. Oh, that's cool. Wait, can somebody spin me? I want to be small. You are not spinning fast enough. Spin us. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, I need to get to my breath. <laughs> it's not safe. I'm leaning to the side. Can you spin it, Gabby? I was going to spin it, but not now. Ugh. <coughs> no, this thing's fun. Sit on it, Mom. No way, because that thing is a balance beam. It's no, a balance. Yeah, you Nobody have to. Nobody holds you on. <laughs> yeah. You never know when you're going to have an accident, though. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> Sylvie's like, I'm not doing anything else. I miss playing in the park, you guys. Okay, Sylvia, I'll race you. You can get the highest and fastest. I don't like playing that high, though. I forgot what, like, parks are fun. Let's see if you can jump off. I will fall on my butt. I've fallen off the way to the What? It's actually amazing how much, like, one warm day dries everything up. We just needed one warm day. It's a Chino day. It's your day. It's so nice outside, you guys. It's gorgeous out here. It's supposed to be 20 degrees, which is like 65 or something. Still, it's getting nice. It's actually getting nice. But anyways, you guys know Sophie's been trying a horse. And there's a story about it. I think he is the one. Oh, God. Gray Finn is rolling. Finn is rolling. Finn, the gray horse. He was beautifully clean, except for the lower part of him yesterday. Look away from me. All right, so, are you kidding? Anyway, so Sam had to come and rescue us. We didn't know how to get in, the door got stuck. So anyway, this is not the first time that you guys are gonna hear this story. This is gonna be like a story that I say a lot of times, but you guys are gonna be the first one to hear this story. So basically, you guys know we've been looking for a horse for Sophie and it's really hard to look for a horse for Sophie especially when it gets complicated because so many people have an idea of what Sophie's new horse should be and it makes it difficult because no matter what horse we get somebody's gonna be disappointed and the only person that has to not be disappointed is Sophie and Sophie has to choose and um, we did everything the way that we could to make it the best choice and we haven't decided completely but we got guidance and support and help from our trainer we talked in depth about this horse but let's go back for a second when we started looking for a new horse for Sophie I told God like God you're gonna have to give me a sign like you're gonna have to give me a sign like there's gonna have to be a sign that when we find the horse that's right for her I need to know like you're gonna have to tell me because it's just so difficult because it's such a complicated thing with so many people weighing in and I know like you guys all want the best for Sophie and I love that but you guys know that with so many people having different opinions it's really hard to tell what is the best for Sophie and so the only people they can tell oh my god Raven rolled he was so white you guys saw him yesterday at the end of yesterday's vlog I'll show you them now even a minute ago minute ago he was white so he got mad when Chino left the field Turn to the side, dude. Yeah, he was completely white five minutes ago. <laughs> he 
overwhelm. You did that on purpose, didn't you? So I told God I need a sign. God, you gotta give me a sign. And if we ever get to the point where we decide that this is the right horse for her, then I'm gonna I'm gonna remind you of this story because I feel like if ever there's been a sign, it's this horse. And the crazy thing is, I'm keeping the horse really private right now because I really want you guys all to see the sign at the same time if it turns out to be the right horse. Which I really feel like it is because of so many things, which we'll explain in a future video if we end up getting this horse, but she's just trying him right now and vet checks and a lot to happen before we can even decide. So I just want to tell you guys that I, I just want to put it out there that I asked God to give me a sign and the sign on this horse is so specific, so specific that none of you guys will not, will miss it. He's perfect for me. Yeah, like he is so different than most of their horses. Yeah, yeah, so he is like, you guys know Gracie, how she's like people orientated and then, so she doesn't really get herd bound. She just wants to be with people. He's a lot like that, which has been really fun to see. So he doesn't, like, he's not herd bound. He's really people orientated, yeah, super affectionate, super friendly. And that's a huge thing. Like. You know how you have to bond with your horse and get to know one another? Build that trust. Well, this horse is not, I mean, you still have to do that, but this horse just naturally trusts people. He's a, such an affectionate, loving, sweet boy. Another thing that's weird is that, like, this horse is slow as heck. Yeah, like, so slow. And he's slow, but he gets Like, he can't, he's a storm horse, but he has a bigger stride. He's a huge horse. Um, your horse, if we get him. He's big, he's big, but he gets a big stride and he can get the strides, like unlike Storm. Like Storm's just doesn't really have the athleticism. But what's really weird to me is that like all along, because Sophie's so used to fan, I really thought like it would be hard for her or she would never want like a slower horse. Like I didn't think she ever would really want a slow horse, but man, like so many of you guys said she needs a Storm horse and this horse is a Storm horse, but with more, more a little bit more to him and oh, solely Sophie has Sophie has taken to that like you would not believe like $15 fee if tax dolls aren't clean. Fifteen dollar fee if tax dolls aren't clean. So what it says on the board? Brandon. <laughs> the only one real issue with this boy is that he needs to gain a little bit of weight. He's not super bad but not as big as we would like him to be. So uh, until that happens he gets to the exact right weight, then we are gonna need to wait to get some of your new saddle. So this no slip pad really might help. We are home and I wanted to ride Penny today, but oh, I have some other stuff I have to get done. So you guys know we have a broody hen. This is her. I do not know how many eggs she has under her, but she's stealing all the eggs and she wants to hatch them and that's okay, except that we still want eggs so we're gonna move her to someplace way better and then we'll be able to get our eggs back all right you ready sophie sophie's gonna, sophie's gonna get her mm, okay there we go she literally did one little peck <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> so hold on your gloves. You want me to get her? <laughs> we got gloves. <coughs> Sophie's all brave. <laughs> Come on, we can't mess her with. Come Do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. That was hell. I'm not even joking, you guys. We don't even guys. have a chicken. Yeah, we didn't even get the chicken, but we got the eggs. I said, job well done. There's. <laughs> You were screaming. Yeah, I was screaming. I'm a screamer. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten eggs. That's how many eggs she's hijacked from us, which is fine. But she is so upset. Oh, no. She's so mad. Oh, she's going to eat now. She's like, fine. I will eat. Holy moly. That was craziness. Come on, you're going to be a mom. You're gonna like this. Oh, Phineas! Phineas! Alright, go, go!
Go. Huh. This is the brooder that I got for the babies. I just have to get a lid for it. This is how big it looks. That's it. And then this is the brooder that I have for Mama. And the reason we're moving her here, yeah, you'll like it. Here, can you zip it with me? The reason that she'll like it is because I'll put a blanket over top of it as well, so it'll hide her. Uh-oh, don't rip it. But this will keep her safe and protected. And also, uh -oh. she'll be able to eat whenever she wants to. She won't feel th Oh, man. Dang it, Mom. All right, hold on. So I'm just going to get her some water. I got this pool today. I saw where some people use this inside of this to make a brooder. And unfortunately, the one I got doesn't fit, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to get her food and water. I got her food already. I'm just going to get her water in there. And then she'll be able to be happy with her baby chicks. Ten baby chicks, hopefully. Hopefully we will have ten baby chicks. Yeah, she's like, give me food. I've just been starving. Some of you guys will know that a chicken won't ever get off their eggs when they're trying to hatch them. Or they very rarely leave and it can be detrimental to the health of the chicken. But if you separate them from the other birds and give them like a little den, a little area that makes them feel super safe and put food and water in there just for them, it would be so much better. Sure. With the, We're going to cover her with this big blanket. Wait, I'm going to help you. Okay, so we're going to have a brooder here. And we're going to have a brooder here. And everybody will be safe and happy and sound. we just getting her some water and then we're going to leave her alone. Okay, food and water. Food and water. She already pooped in there. And she actually has really disgusting smelling poop. I do not know why. But she's in there. She's on her eggs. Uh, I'm going to get shavings. I'm going to fill this up with shavings tomorrow. There are shavings underneath that, that straw. But I really like shavings better for babies because <laughs> for a lot of reasons. But there she is. She's in her own little room. She just needs to step forward two steps to eat and drink. All right? You got it? You'll be f safe now. She's, she's, I think she likes it. She already ate. She's like, get out of here now. Don't you know that you're beautiful?